Hello again, peeps. Welcome back to another video. This is Ice. And today I have my first MC Edit tutorial for you. Now, this is something that CTM map makers or other similar people, even adventure maps, people might find this useful in. And what is it? Well, with the dramatic sunset, this is what it is. This is kind of a little invention or innovation I just had with splash potions and stacked entities. Um, I was watching Amlup's map making mob creation tutorial, and quite honestly, you don't want to see that. There. Um, yeah, I was watching Amlup's custom mob tutorial, and he used a system where when you killed the mob, the splash potions would fall off the mob and actually fall onto the ground and be destroyed and activate. So I thought, why not stack this on top of an item, if I made the item last inde almost indefinitely, and this is what I came up with. Let's see how it works. So we're walking towards it. This looks interesting. Walk towards it some more, and suddenly, you just walk towards the splash potion and suddenly it activates, and now we don't have it anymore, of course. And of course there's nothing in our inventory. That'd be lame. But there you go. So it is essentially a splash potion you can, in a sense, pick up. Now that's pretty cool, and considering it's pretty darn easy to make. Now the filters you will need, I will list once we get into MC Edit for the tutorial, which we should be doing just about now. Okay, so before we actually get into the MC editing of this, we're going to need a few things. First of all, any splash potion. Now personally, I'm going to use this potion I made myself just a moment ago. Evil potion. <laughs> okay, now you're also going to need a small item that you don't care about. I like to use mushrooms, personally. I, I think mushrooms are a very useless item that you wouldn't normally be using. Buttons are also common for this kind of technique, but, you know, you might use that to unlock a secret passage. I don't know. You can't use a mushroom to unlock a secret passage, though. Be creative. So once you have that, you can come over here, and the first thing you're going to do, throw your item at the ground. Just like that. Now you're going to go to the same block it is, just above, and fly way up. Not too far up, just maybe this far, and throw your splash potion straight down. Now right after you throw it, you want to exit out of the game, so... Like that. And now, I will see you in a moment in MC Edit, and then we will get started with the real fancy, fancy, fancy stuff. Okay, so here we are in MC Edit. This is the first time I've ever recorded MC Edit, so it should be fun. Now, the first thing you want to do is find this little green box here. It should be below your player. Now, you want to select this green box and MC Edit. Just kind of do that. And you should you know, you analyze, and you should see your item in there. Make sure you do, and then you can go to Filter. Now, you're going to go to NBT Editor. Now, this is the first MC Edit filter you'll need. Now, this is Texelos NBT Editor Filter, which I will link in the description. Just click on that. Now, you're going to hit Filter. Now, when I press this, um, you're not really going to see what is actually happening here. So I'm going to take a screenshot of the tag you need to change and probably put it in the description. But basically, you're going to change the um, item, no, the lifespan tag, which should say 6,000, and you're going to change it to 999, 999, nine, eight nines which is the highest possible. This means that your item will not despawn for over a month spent in-game on this world. So click Filter, and now you can save that. Okay, so that's that done. Now, that's all really the weird NBT stuff done. Now you just need to stack the entities with Seth Bling Stack Entities Filter, which I'll also put in the description. Just grab, kind of grab these both with MC Edit, and make sure you're both in. they're both in there with Analyze. As you can see, you should see your item and a Thrun Potion. Now you can go into Filter, Stack Entities, and hit Filter. And now, believe it or not, you're done. That was not too hard, was it? So let's go back into Minecraft and... Alright, here we are, back in Minecraft, and if you followed that tutorial exactly, you should see something that looks a little bit like this. Yeah. Pretty cool. Now this mushroom is a little bit annoying, it... But, really, if you're far enough away, You'll only see the splash potion. It's very hard to see the item compared to the splash potion. Now the button is even harder to see, so if you don't care about your buttons, you can do that. Now there's one more thing you need to do. Go to a spawn chunk that you know will always be loaded, or any chunk really. Now you're going to dig down underground, make sure this is a place nobody will see it. And you're going to get out your hoppers. We're going to make a hopper clock. So you can start that. 
like this. Put your two hoppers facing into each other. Put item in there. Comparator. And now you're going to get a command block. I'm just going to do it with too many items because I'm lazy. And now you're going to stick it right here where it's powered by the comparator and you're going to have it clear at P and then the ID of the mushroom, which I don't actually know. 39. There you go. And now that's that done. So you should be ready to test the thing out now. So you're going to go into survival. And let's see this in action. As you can see, we are perfectly healthy and I'm going to go into... I'm going to get rid of too many items. Let's walk up to it. And whoa, yeah, that was apparently quite the fancy potion, but it definitely worked. But yeah, there you go. That is pretty much your floating splash potion. Now, you could have these scattered all over your CTM map to make a extremely challenging area. You could put them, I don't know, in your adventure map for little, maybe even as part of a boss mechanic, because you can spawn them with spawners. Yeah, that's pretty much what I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And maybe even subscribe if that's your thing. If you enjoy these map making concepts, please leave a please leave a comment below as I might do some more of them. And yeah, and as always, of course, bye now.